Everyone wants to know where is the victim in the Kareem Hunt hotel incident? That's the million dollar question. Because remember, on the night of the incident in February, when cops were called to the hotel in the wake of the, uh, the violent attack, she told police over and over again that she was interested in pursuing charges and she wanted them to watch the security video. But this seemed like a person who wasn't about to walk away from this whole thing. But in the months since the incident, essentially what it seems has happened. She was contacted by NFL investigators, but never called them back. She was contacted by us multiple times. We reached out to her several times to try and get her side of the story, and she's gone off the grid. Multiple media outlets have also reached out to her to no avail, and also police investigators, nothing from them either. So what happened to this woman? What has changed? So she went from going to, I really want to pursue charges on this, and I want Kareem Hunt brought to justice, to never mind. That's the big question right now. There's more. Four months after Kareem pushed and kicked a woman at the hotel, he was allegedly involved in an incident where he punched a man in an Ohio resort. Now, at the time, the man said he did not want to press charges. I actually spoke to the owner of the resort who tells me that there is no surveillance video here, so there will not be a smoking gun in this situation like there was in the last.